Last year was where the confidence resides. This year, we're gold digging. What's up, gang? So look, y'all, it is um, Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday right now, y'all, and I'm here with the gang. With the gang. Hey, everybody got so quiet. They stupid. But yes, and Milan's here. Y'all saw her. Y'all seen her Saturday. Y'all did. The cow in Miami. Here. Hey, can I be in your vlog? What's up? <laughs> That nigga said, Dad, I said, can I be Yeah. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday, February 13th, 2022. You know what's going on. Who you got? Yeah, who you got? Who you got? You tell us who you got. I want to know. <laughs> who you think? Who y'all think going to win? Okay, I'm going to do a premonition. The Rams. LA. The Rams. You ready? The Rams. The Rams, what? Okay. Yeah. You know who she won. <laughs> Listen, I don't watch the sports, so I don't care who wins. Now, sir. Let the best man Rams win. Are, Rams or the Bengals? Right put it, put it in the comments. Y'all miss Johnny? They <laughs> do. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. Hey, Mr. Johnny, take me out. You got any words? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, uh, shout out to all those who attempted to hit me up. That wasn't my real number. I appreciate no. y'all. Yeah. Not, not him. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let's rewind it, y'all. <laughs> Let's run that back. Now, I appreciate everybody who reached out, but that wasn't my real number. Then how do you know they reached out? I didn't even double check. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So, um, we are sitting here chilling. First of all, Jamil Homeboy made some ribs, y'all, and they were so good. Um, so that's what I ate. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's about to happen tonight, but I feel like we about to party talk in a minute. Ribs coming soon. Yeah. Open the shop. Oh, who made? Did you make the ribs? Why you? Damn, what, what is he talking about? Who made the ribs? Yeah. Who made them? His boy at work. He boy at work. Yeah, but you you talking like. Well, we know him, yeah. and so we gonna sign the deal. We gonna, we gonna give him a number he can't resist. Okay. Anyway, y'all. Well, oh, y'all. Let's talk about this really quick. So, did y'all see the halftime show, y'all? Oh my god. When I tell y'all, if y'all don't know nothing about me, I love Lisa Mary J. Blige. Anytime I have had my heart broken or it was about to be broke, Mary J. is the first woman I called on. Oh my god. Like, y'all just don't understand. That lady got up on that stage. I just could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, I just love Mary so much. She's everything. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, y'all don't want to hear me talk? Y'all, anyway, y'all let me know in the comments right now. Who's your favorite performance? Mary J. Blige was my favorite. What? What's your favorite Mary track? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's all I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be happy is my number. Like when I hear be like I'm about to get teary eyed right now thinking about it. That's my favorite song from her. Just be happy and it just that's, ooh, all right. Y'all gotta get out the vlog and start getting teary eyed. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. No. We finally made it, y'all. Let's get my shoes. But um, we might have to wait outside. And then me and T about to go eat at the Southern Gentleman. Oh, Lake Colonial? I thought you said the reservations. I called it. Oh, perfect. Never mind, y'all. We eating at Lake Colonial. Ooh, I can't wait to eat. I have not ate all day. Do we, should I open it or somebody gonna come out here? You saw there's a wait? All right, I'll be back, y'all. Which color, which color should I get? So I feel like, it's, I don't know if I should get the brown ones or the black ones. Which ones y'all think? Well, I already have them by the time y'all decide, but <sighs> I'm so indecisive. <sighs> yeah. Um, that color is cute, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, let me try on the left, the left foot. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is size six. 
Okay. Oh yeah, that look. I might need that six and a half. It's like right there. Yeah. At my yeah. It's brown, cute. I like the brown with the with the pink toes. That's that's kind of cute. Okay. And then this one is a six and a half. Hmm, interesting. I might need like a seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why you ain't tell me? Cause I, I'm like a half size up her, so she wears six. I'm the six. <laughs> yeah, I need a seven. What's your largest foot? What's my largest foot? Yeah. Because the one is always larger than the other. Oh, I don't know. Mine is my right. My right foot is bigger. How you know? I never noticed that. You can tell from oh. how your shoes fit. Oh. Like one may feel a little tighter than the other. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just still looking at it. You might be perfect, sis. You want to try seven? Yeah. Okay. Because I just, you know, it looked like it was hanging, that meat was hanging off the back. <laughs> It's either the Just bed. A bit. Had the, bit. the meat be hanging off the bed or the front. I don't know which one be worse when I be seeing. Definitely the front. I'm the, sorry. Them toes. I hate when toes. That toes gonna be the last. Yo. But I just wanna show you this color. Oh, let me see the color. Oh, I'm excited to see it. Oh, oh, oh this. Oh, this red is so nice. Yeah, that's nice. I thought I was like, oh. Upper. Why y'all don't have those out on this place? We don't have a lot of them. Oh, so you don't want to be. Oh, yeah. then it's Valentine's Day, so it probably was just like seasonal. What but size is that? Came in. That's a six. six. But if you like that color, we could always order your size. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, let's figure out the size. Third. Yeah, it's right. Hopefully, hopefully this size is 37. That's your size. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. It's like sometimes when you be in these stores, they don't want you to vlog. So I ain't trying to be all like, hey y'all, like we in MTV cribs. I ain't trying to do y'all like that because typically they don't they don't allow people to film. So I don't want nobody to tell me to put it up. <laughs> so I ain't trying to do too much. Yeah, and then when I walk, this will flap a little bit more. I don't want it to flap. See? Let me just get the seven. Yeah, because it's more. What she said. Uh -huh. She's not even paying attention no more. Are you paying attention? No, you Just, I think this. What you think? I'm going to ask you. I think this is. Yeah, because I feel like I, this. Let's try to stand on both. Okay. Let's set that in half. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get these. Okay. Oh, I'm burning up. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh -huh. it's like cold outside, but it's warm in here. It's freezing out. Right. So we have a winner, ladies. We are gonna get the size 37 and the Hermes sandals, y'all. Super excited. So um, after this, we going to eat. So I'm gonna check back with y'all in a minute. Hey y'all, we just now leaving the store. We got the goods. And now me and my bestie are headed to Lake, Lake Colonial. Lake Colonial. Okay y'all, let me show y'all. We are headed to this restaurant to eat. We have so much fun together. This is a quick of what their menu looks like. I know the food is gonna be good, so I ain't even finna waste my time staring. I'm excited to eat. Yes. Okay, y'all, I have made it back. So first of all, <laughs> I know y'all like, wait a minute. Yes, I went home and changed y'all because right when we walked up earlier to the lake, I might be saying the name wrong, the Lake Colonial. Right when we walked up, they were like, oh, um, you can't wear like um, leggings and freaking like sweater stuff. But we didn't know. I mean, shoot, we just was coming over to eat. So now I am fully dressed. This is what I'm wearing tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting on Tierra, um, cause she had to go home to change too. So I'm about to walk in right now and go ahead and find us somewhere to sit while, you know, I wait for her. 
So I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. It's so cute in here. Very, very posh. I'm actually glad I went back home and changed because now I can actually look cute and take pictures, which is my first and almost favorite thing to do in the world. So <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I sit down. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like here. Y'all, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to be vlogging this experience. So, um, Pierre and I got the baby back ribs as our appetizer. <laughs> and as y'all can see, <laughs> them baby back. <laughs> y'all, this is, I done sucked this thing dry, okay? And then this one is about to be gone too. And then for my drink, I got a lychee martini. So, so far, so good. Tierra be knowing all the spots, y'all. She put me down. So I'll let y'all know when my entree gets here. Mm. Baby bed ribs, definitely our baby. Or they ribbon. Whichever one. What is it, babe? It's good. Right. This is what I got, y'all. This is the shaken beef. I got it with a side of jasmine and rice. I feel like it's gonna be good. I already tasted a little bit of it, so let's go ahead and dive in. Wow. Bro, 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 bro. Auntie Ann and Bola. You got it wrong. You done. Auntie How do you get your own name wrong? That was, no, she got mine wrong. Auntie Nan. Auntie Nan or Ann? Nay. 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 They should talk about the name cookies. Told you she drove. This is a sale. She's gonna drink the most. She don't care. I was gonna do it wrong. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Get my coat. Is this tequila? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Tequila later. No, tequila. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Tequila uh, later. Tequila later. Real quiet. Don't want to talk no more. Nah, bitch. Y'all What the fuck? Oh, so oh, I tried to kill me. <laughs> oh, last oh, 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 okay. Now what are these? These are oranges uh -huh. with cinnamon. Mm. Oh. Try it. Am I gonna be, is this gonna make me sick? No, try it. It's okay. gonna make you be okay. okay. Right. And then you do your, your shot. It's real different. It was, that was Take exit 52 um, yeah. to merge onto I-675 oh, South toward Macon. I was so tired, y'all, and um, I just literally was like, oh my God, I just, I literally slept all day yesterday, and then um, later on yesterday night, y'all saw where I ended up going to that sneaker ball with Iman, and yes, if you did not notice, yes, y'all, Iman is pregnant. Um, she just announced to the world, um, I think in January, but um, I've, I've obviously I've known since the very first day when she first found out back in September. So um, make sure you guys go and congratulate her and, um, and give her well with wishes and positivity because um, although I don't have children and I hope and pray one day I do, 
um, you know, that is a huge responsibility. And um, I feel like as a as women, we should always come together and just form like a little hub around each other. Like when we, especially like when we're having children or even when we're going through things or even when things are going well in our life. Like um, I saw this, y'all, I'm so sorry. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm so sorry, like my lash keep like falling in my eye. But um, I saw this meme and the meme basically said, um, be the friend that's not just a listening ear when your friend is going through something terrible. Be also the friend that your friend calls when something is going right. And um, I'm gonna be honest y'all, that, that really like touched me and spoke to me because um, there have been times in my life where I was afraid not afraid, it may be not be the best word, but um, I was a bit timid to tell my friends about the good that's happening in my life because um, sometimes, you know, like when you tell your friends the good stuff and you're like, okay, so my life is going well or um, I got a new job or, or whatever the case may be. Every, every friend, and it doesn't mean your friend is hating on you or your friend is jealous of you. That's not what that means. Sometimes people just depending on the person don't necessarily want to hear your good news because they're not going things in their life are not going the same if that makes sense and um it doesn't make it wrong or right but i do want us moving forward just as women we just have to be conscientious of that because whether it's it, it, it almost can come off as okay well when i'm down and things are going left or things are not going right in my life you want to hear all about it but when things are up and up it's like oh okay girl you know what i'm saying like i don't know if you're that friend or if you have a friend that does that to you but a, a big big conversation needs to be had because um I, I have been in situations like that and i am the person who calls my friends out on it and i be, I be like dang like i almost feel like i can't tell you how happy i am right now because if you're not the energy you're giving is not the same as if when I'm telling you about something negative you, you almost hollering when it's negative but when it's something positive you know so I, I don't know it's just it's like I didn't pick up the camera to talk about that but that's where it went and um, I just want to say as women I just hope we continue to do better I hope we continue to love on one another show love be intentional and um not just be the friends that you know want to hear the good you also need to i mean i'm sorry not the friends that just want to hear the bad but you also are just as energetic just as happy just as everything when it comes to you know the good so um that's something i just wanted to add in so anyway y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about that and um Oh my it's my exit and maybe if i should um you know dive a little bit deeper into that maybe um just in like a little short video this week but nonetheless it's a beautiful sunday y'all another thing i wanted to talk to y'all about so um i don't know if you guys like be on the shade room or nothing like that but y'all i have been hollering as of recently about um Amretta. So I don't know if you guys know who Amretta is, but she is a down south Atlanta bred rapper. She is beautiful. Like she's just popping and she just, you know, she's climbing the ladder as far as like her career is concerned. But recently she just put out a song, y'all. She just put out a song called Sorry Not Sorry. Now, y'all know my platform is huge on Atlanta content. I tell you guys a lot of things about, you know, where you should live, um, you know, if you have children, what school systems, what side of towns are appropriate. I talk a lot about that on my channel. So um, I want you guys to take some time out and go listen to that song. And the reason why I want you to listen to that song is because she really kind of mapped out um, just Atlanta and how people who live in Georgia see it like a lot of, I'm be honest a lot of my friends who live in like Decatur the cab or they born and raised they're feeling some type of way about you know what she recently had to say and I'm gonna be honest like I don't first of all her lyrics don't bother me because I have never in my life claimed to be from Atlanta or I grew up or I'm, I'm I've never said that I've obviously yes I live in Atlanta now and I've been living in Atlanta for the last probably like probably like 
Dang, I can't even do the math. Since, since 2017, and then I went to um, Georgia State, which is in Atlanta, and I was in school there. But that's besides the point. Um, she's talking about people who literally be, like, saying stuff like, oh, I'm born and raised in Atlanta, and I claim Atlanta. Now, one thing I will say, because I'm not going to sit here and cap, when I go out of town, like, say I'm out of town, and I'm, and I'm like, out of the country or or I'm somewhere where I know for a fact if I say oh well I'm from Covington they're gonna be like who or if I say oh I grew up in I, I went I, I, I'm from Newton County or I, I went to school in Newton County they're gonna be like where the fuck is that like they're not gonna know what that is so obviously when I'm out of the country what well, more so when I'm out of the country I just say Georgia I'm like I'm from Georgia but like when I go to different like cities like a New York or Miami or whatever whatever and somebody like where you from Atlanta so if I'm wrong in saying that I apologize I'm Retta I'm definitely not trying to a set claim or whatever you want to call it but I do understand like where she coming from and I do but I, in the same token I understand you know why people don't necessarily just be like oh well you know I'm from you know wherever and, and, and to be honest so for some people it's cool for them to say you know they from Atlanta and and not from where they really from especially like if you trying to be some type of rapper or you trying to be somebody who is on in the game like some people just I, I, I know for a fact where I live like in Georgia I know we're not the only people who have this problem like I literally went on Twitter Twitter be having me dying y'all I went on Twitter and people was hollering and they was like oh well since she talking like that she done she done turned me up um Chicago um you are not from Chicago and then they started naming all these places that I don't know about but I was just like oh yeah like we're not the only ones that had this problem is all I'm saying so um I just thought that was pretty interesting that she was going in and hollering and I was like dang and a lot of people feelings hurt but my feelings not hurt babe because I know where I'm from and um like really honestly I don't none of that none of that stuff would ever like affect me or anything like that but anyway yeah y'all I just wanted to come in really quickly I know I've been talking for a while but I just wanted to like just chime in on a few things I don't know what's up with this lash y'all it's getting on my nerves but yep, so I am about to head to my brother's house. I just pulled over really quickly because um, I'm about to pick us up something to eat because my mom and my dad is going to be there as well. So, um, yeah, we about to get some food and just kick it. Hopefully we watch a movie or something like that and just spend time with one another. As y'all know, my brother um, just moved into a new home. So, um, yeah, his house is probably going to be beautiful when I walk in. So I'm excited. So let me figure out what we are about to eat, y'all. Um, cause I don't want to come come there empty-handed, and I'm gonna get right back with y'all in a minute. 